Now, at 6, the search for answers in the dive boat disaster that took 34 lives. We've learned investigators are focusing on possible safety problems on board the Conception. Now, officially, we don't know the NTSB's early findings until next week at the earliest. But our investigative team has uncovered something about the dive boat's past. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen live in Santa Barbara, where another vigil for the victims is set to get underway. Jeff? Indeed, Sarah and Jeff, and right now workers here are setting up for this vigil in Santa Barbara. Let me go ahead and step aside so you can get a good look at the stage as we uh, share with you some of the news. Now, right now, this evening, the uh, Santa Barbara County Sheriff says that uh, he, he has contacted all of the families of all 34 victims in uh, this tragedy. In the meantime, the NTSB says that a preliminary report won't be out for another two to five days. The LA Times reports that the probe is looking into serious safety violations. Among the investigators' concerns, the lack of a roaming night watchman who would wake up passengers in an emergency. Federal investigators who have spoken to surviving crew members are reportedly concerned about whether they've had adequate training. Our CBS 2 News investigative team uncovered this. In 2017, the Coast Guard cited the conception on the following safety violations. First, a lack of documentation of fire and abandoned ship safety drills in the boat's logbook, then no fire extinguisher on board, and an electrical distribution system that was placed in improper service. Our research also found that all of the violations in 2017 were eventually resolved. As the current investigation intensifies, the biggest task for the Coast Guard right now is salvaging the conception, which is currently upside down. So that will take time because the evidence needs to be preserved. It's not a hurry up and lift and be placed on the barge. It's an incremental effort to make sure that we, we try our, our deliberative best to keep the vessel intact for further, uh, further investigation requirements. Last night, hundreds of people took part in two vigils in Southern California. One was in Santa Monica. The other was in Long Beach. The attendance for tonight's vigil in Santa Barbara is expected to be large. A number of local organizations are teaming up with the city and county to provide a place for the community to support one another. And one more thing before we hand it back to you. Today, authorities said that they have retrieved 33 bodies from the wreckage. Right now, one person still missing. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News. Jeff, thank you. One